is taking action. We're sort of 12 hours behind the work. The emergency department is full and it's funny how desensitised I've become to it. We've got patients in chairs everywhere. I'm seeing about half of my patients in chairs. They're on drips, they're having infusions. Earlier this week, Phil told us about a day dealing with urgent cases. Later in the shift, his video diary highlights the pressures he and other hospital consultants are under. There's no escaping that the, the workload for the available staff is a problem and, that, and that's leading to some of our consideration of industrial action. Yay, we got two. Phil and other consultants were out on picket lines today. They say more needs to be done to stop doctors leaving and higher pay is a vital part of that. But strikes affect patients. Jane waited nearly a year to see a consultant about her eye condition. It was due today, but it was cancelled. We put Jane in touch with Helen, a consultant representing the doctors' union. You know, what I would say to all the consultants is, I support the reasons for your strike. I work in higher education, we have exactly the same problems. But my view is that you guys took an oath to do no harm, and today harm is being done, whether you want it, you know, whether emergencies are being covered or not, harm is being done. Hi, Jane. What I'd first like to say is that we are really sorry that you are being personally impacted by this today. And, and to all patients who, who have had cancelled appointments and procedures, please believe me when I say that we have tried every avenue that we have to try and engage with government to address these problems before we have reached this point of taking strike action. How long are the consultants prepared to go on taking strike action? We will continue to have to take strike action unless the government comes to us to the negotiating with a table with a credible offer. I understand all of that. A lot of people will say consultants earn an awful lot of money already. The doctors' union has rejected the 6% pay offer, but the government says it's final. We've accepted in full the recommendations of the pay review body, uh, and we call on the BMA to end the strikes because the strikes ultimately will impact patients, and particularly those patients waiting for their operations. More consultant strikes are planned for September and October. Junior doctors are balloting again. Their disputes are far from being resolved. Hugh Pym, BBC News.